Peter Thomas Fornatal back with you here from Santa Anita with the Breeders' Cup Betting Challenge champion, Brad Anderson. Brad, how are you doing at the moment, my man? I am overwhelmed. I, I am just speechless, speechless without a voice. <laughs> but I, it's just an overwhelmed feeling to be in this chair, to be talking to you, and just to climax at the end of the day like it did with, you know, our my selection, Vino Rosso, just making me cry as it finished down that stretch. I, I was in tears. I, I just was in a place to say, this is a horse. This is me. This is my money. This is my tournament. And it came through. It was remarkable. Brad, it was an amazing performance. You came in here and seemed like you were... Uh, observing what has been a traditional winning pattern for this tournament since its inception 11 years ago of trying to preserve bankroll, get to the end, and take a shot. What was the exact play that won this for you? So I was sitting with about $25,900 going into the last race, going into the Classic. And I looked at the leaderboard, and the leader had jumped up to $137,000. Hit a cold $2,000 exacta in the turf race, 9-3, paid $137. It took me from $220 to $137,000. If I liked this race, if I had a strong opinion, I would be playing. Just because right now you're a target going into the last race. You talk it, I mean, what but, I, but I really don't. So I'm hoping the total I got in the uh, turf race is going to be good enough to hold on and win this thing. So I looked at what I thought the number needed to be to win, which was 140. And as I had done my analysis, my handicap, I was really wanted to go with McKenzie, but McKenzie's odds dropped down to five to two, and it wouldn't have given me enough to overcome the 137. So I made the easy decision to put 24-9 on a win bet for Vino Rosso and let it roll. They call it the Breeders' Cup betting challenge, not the Breeders' Cup handicapping challenge. With all that money on one horse, which I've never done, <laughs> and, and to see Vino Rosso run a race that was just spectacular. I couldn't have laid out the pace chart any better. You know, we were down by the finish line. My good friend who's with me here, Matt Miller, just struck by the feeling of what we just accomplished. It's still something that I look at and say, did I really win the $488,000? It was an amazing performance. Matt Miller providing support the entire time for Brad. Brad, this year's winner of the Breeders' Cup Betting Challenge. Yes! I did it! <laughs>